welcome back to a simply simple life i have a scentsy video to share with you guys so this is technically a simply simple scent video because of uh, my scentsy name is a simply simple scent so if you guys have any questions simply just email me or comment here uh, or if you want to order any of these it's still available over on my website of a simply simple scent that sensi that us there are a couple of bring back my bars in here that are like absolutely my favorite so i wanted to add those um more of those onto my sensi club so i can get basically double orders of it on my next sensi club delivery and then also be able to stock up on ones that i'm kind of running low on um, before that, let me go ahead and show you guys the warmer that I have been waiting for because a very good friend of mine who's also a Sensi consultant, Miss Katie, got me hooked on this. I was not even eyeballing this. It was not in my radar at all to get this. We have had this for a while. But when she kept texting me and telling me, like, when is it still back order? When is it going to be available? I'm like thinking like, hmm. Maybe I need one too. <laughs> and sure enough, when it arrived yesterday, I honestly fell in love with it because look how gorgeous it is. I did place it into one of my own pots, but looking at this even, Hubby's like, wow, that really looks nice. So I'm gonna put this onto my bay window. First of all, I'm gonna show you guys how I put that together. It comes into a box like this. So this is the um, Aloe Vera Warmer. It's a pretty nice box. It's a pretty good size warmer actually. So let me go ahead and put this one down. And then with all warmers that are like, that I know that I'm going to like, I do always uh, purchase a backup. So I have another one um, of this one. So I'm just gonna put this one here. So when you open up the box, it's um, going to be an element warmer. An element warmer does not require a light bulb. There are some, um, warmers that i prefer it to be the element especially when it's into the kids room because then i don't have to worry about the light bulb them knocking it down and kind of causing things on fire um the wax itself if it gets knocked down i'm not too concerned about that i'm more concerned about their safety so i prefer element warmers onto their room my older boy though does have a light bulb i'm not too worried about that because one he's careful and two he's a young adult <laughs> so i'm sure that he's taking good care of it and this one some um, element warmers that i don't care for are ones that are like kind of tall like this one and then the base um the heating plate would be at the bottom and then the dish would be at the top with it being an element warmer because element warmers runs between 8 uh, watt or 12 watt to me my own personal experience because i do have open concept uh areas into my home it just uh, does not have a good performance as far as melting the wax and having it to have like a good throw that's why i prefer light bulbs but there are like i said certain element warmers that i do like especially when they are made like these ones as soon as i picked her up i'm like oh yeah she's like beautiful but um especially like these ones that has the the base right the bottom like, like the heating plate and then the dish right on top of that the distance of the the heating plate the and the dish is so close together that i feel like especially this being a 12 watt uh, warmer that it will have a good um throw in a, a great performance with the wax that i put in here now it's gonna come with the dish just two pieces and then this itself so this one when i was looking at it at the website i'm like i don't even know why that's popular it's just leaves sticking out right it didn't have any like pot to be able to kind of be on top of it so that's why it did not appeal to me and but looking at it it's beautiful it's actually a very large warmer okay and as you guys can tell with the box it was a pretty good size box so me i love to always prop up my warmers and so i knew with this one i would have to find a way to be able to prop it up with um usually i use like cake uh stands from target dollar spot to be able to um, prop up my warmers but this one this one i use one of these pots and this is from michael's i love the diameter of this one it fits perfectly onto this uh warmer and so i have it right here i filled up the pot though danica helped me with <laughs> um 
I had a Trader Joe's uh, chai tea that was in here. So it was barely, like, there was barely anything left. So I took it out, cleaned it out, washed it down, wiped it down. So it's nice and dry, nice and clean. And then um, I also had these rocks that I already had handy. I believe I got them from uh, Michael's a while back. And so they fit perfectly on the sides to balance it out. So now the top is like perfectly even. And so that when I put my aloe vera warmer in there, it sits right on top. And hold on, let me just fix the, there you go. And now it's not moving because it was moving earlier because it was right onto the edge. So I just had to put it to the side. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? All right, before anything else, I forgot to mention that I broke a nail this morning I broke a nail this morning so I have one nail that's like missing but my girl is off today so she'll be in tomorrow so I figured instead of waiting tomorrow another day to not make this video for you uh, for you guys I wanted to go ahead and make the video and just let you guys know what happened to my one nail all right so then I put the dish on top and it's beautiful oh, it's beautiful and then the toggle switch is right here I can easily turn it on and off I'm gonna put this into my bay window on top of my cake stand absolutely love it it's just gorgeous in there I cannot wait to have it displayed with my other video that I made of my Ray Dunn finds over at Home Goods. I have some pots in there that says grow. I'm gonna um, put some cactus plants in there along with the aloe vera I think it will just really go well together Okay, super excited. I really, really like this one. I'm surprised that I liked it as much as I did, um, especially when it came in and I took it out of the box. As soon as I took it out of the box, the green, just the size of it, I was just very, very happy. Um, it was on back order for quite some time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside. The favorites that I wanted to go ahead and order and see if I wanted to go ahead and add it onto my Sensi Club, because on my Sensi Club, I do have two uh two packs of bundles and save that are six bars so i have in there one of them is my my happy birthday my um let's get punchy accidentally in love there's the um, uh bungalow or no the rainforest bungalow is in there and then i want to say there's something else or is that six so I know there's like my, my all-time favorite is in there. And then I have another one that's a three-pack of uh, Disney bars. So when there's new Disney sands, I just kind of take in, add out, and kind of work around uh, the current bars that's in there or especially new ones coming in. So I can easily still have a bundle of three. So I'm not just ordering one. And then the other one is the six, um, also the six-pack. And then that's the one that I play around with of like taking in and out to try out, especially if like this order took about two and a half weeks for it to arrive. That's why you have not seen me with a Sensi haul video. This one took a lot longer than uh, the usual orders that I get, you know, because of the COVID-19 and a lot of the shipment delays kind of so understandable. But for this one, Simply Rose was one of my favorites during, I think two or three bring back my bar uh, months, but if you love rose gardens as i do i love roses um it smells like a rose it honestly smells like a rose and i love it it's just simple and for the name it to be for them to name simply rose it's just that's it it's it just smells like a simply rose you cannot go wrong with this scent if you love roses okay beach daisy there was another one in here that I didn't break down. Um, bring down was beach. The um, the scent beach itself is also onto my Sensi Club. I love that. Um, I did not order it because I have an abundance of that. But those are also one of my favorites onto this bring back my bar. This one is beach daisy. I like this one too. So I think I'm gonna add this onto my um, other bundle uh, six bundles and save onto my Sensi Club. Uh, but on my next order, I'm going to add a few more of these as well. Beach Daisy really smells like really, it's a nice uh, scent to have around. I think it's perfect for everywhere, like bathrooms, bedrooms, living rooms. It's just, it's a really nice scent. Okay, so this one, Jumpin' Jelly Bean. I'm trying so hard to really like Jumpin' Jelly Bean because I have a lot of customers that actually order this when they have it as a bring back my bar and i've had one bar and it lasted me 
oh gosh, seven years. Ever since I ordered from uh, my one of my bays over in California, she was my sponsor. She loved jumping jelly bean. So I ordered one and I don't know, it's just, I cannot, I mean, it's not bad, bad. It's, I don't hate the smell. It's just that I don't love, love it, okay? And I ordered another one just to see if maybe like I have, you know, the ones that I've been, um, the one bar that I have been melting have been like old. And so maybe that's why I'm not liking it so much. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not too crazy. I mean, it's not bad, but I'm not too crazy, crazy with it. So I got one and I think one is good enough for me. Now this one is Rio Beach and this is a scent that I kind of like really want to like and love because it's, it's supposed to be like a really beachy scent. But when I smell it, I don't know. There's something in there that I don't know if I like or don't like. I thought it would be similar to like beach itself, just a plain beach, because the beach scent um, is just a tropical beach. So it's very tropical. This one is supposed to be a bit more tropical as well, from what I remember with the scents. That's why I wish, Sensi, I would be better at this, at this job. If you just put the you know, the description of what is in here. You know, I can easily read it and tell my customers. So I know I complain about that all the time because I don't take the time to go research it for you guys. So it's actually my fault. So I, I do apologize, but maybe I'll add this onto my Scentsy Club because it's beach and I, you guys know I love beach. Uh, I love anything tropical. And maybe I'm gonna regret if I don't put it in into my Scentsy Club, just like I regret uh, pistachio ice cream. So I do like it, but it's not on my love list because uh, maybe I have not melted it. So I want to put this aside and then just basically warm it, melt it uh, today and see how I like it because I don't want to regret not getting more or not putting it into my Scentsy Club. But definitely I will put it into my Scentsy Club so that I could just kind of get used to it or try to see if I really like it. I have another Simply Rose. So again, Simply Rose is one of my favorites onto this one. Happy birthday. They have a new packaging for, um, for Scentsy Club. So here is my Bring Back My Bar, my own. And then this is the one that came into this, um, this uh, shipment. See how they changed the, the packaging of the Bring Back My Bar. Happy birthday is, oh my gosh, absolutely amazing. It smells like cake. It smells like happy birthday. It smells like you're baking a cake, a uh, vanilla confetti cake. I love it. It is one of my very, very, very favorite, favorite scent. As far as like a bakery or fun kitty scent, it just makes you happy. Like it does. Happy birthday just makes you feel happy. The other one I got is Pink Haze. I did not have this onto my Scentsy Club and I know that it smells really good. It smells really, really good. It's um, also another favorite. Um, favorite of my customers and other consultants is Pink Haze. All right, so banana nut bread. I'm so glad that I, I'm so glad that I ordered banana nut bread because I like banana nut bread and I always have had it. Um, they've had this into a couple of Bring Back My Bars and going through my stash when I was looking at other Bring Back My Bars, I thought I had this. I'm all out. I'm literally all out. I just used up my last clamshell of a banana nut bread. So it just smells amazing. It smells like your baking banana nut bread. Oh, I love it. So the family, the kids love this as well. So I'm, I'm going to add this onto my Tensi Club most definitely and then also ordering up some more before um, the month is over. So bring back uh, my bar Hemingway. Uh, there was a, another consultant that I watched the videos. She said that it smells amazing, really one of her favorites. So I wanted to try it out. And <laughs> very strong to me, very musky strong, like, like a man's, not even like a, a good man's cologne, more of like um, cheap man's cologne probably is how I would describe it. But it's very strong, like it, it's manly. Okay, don't. <laughs> All right, just remembering back now. Okay, this is something that my grandfather would smell like. <laughs> and it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad or good thing. It's just, 
it just suddenly that's what I recall right now my my grandfather um, smokes uh, like a pipe um, has the leather chair is always on his chair that's where he eats his dinner kind of thing and um, he loves to read like um, cowboy uh, novels and you know those little cowboy I used to purchase him some cowboy uh, books to be able to read and smelling this just makes me kind of recall visiting my grandparents and being next to my grandfather kind of if you like that scent so this is what that is uh, to me it's too it's too strong because I don't like musky musky scent whether it's a female musky or a masculine musky I, I'm not into musky scent so to me this was too strong but I did want to try that out all right so my favorite bring back my bars onto this bring back my bar is going to be a banana nut bread definitely beach definitely happy birthday three three top faves those are like honestly the three top faves okay and those are already onto my um sensi club the um the happy birthday and the beach and then definitely this i thought i had an abundance of this but apparently not and then my other top three aside from that is going to be simply rose uh beach daisy okay and then the pink haze Fuzzy blanket, I did not order it, but it's also good. Um, I have a few of the fuzzy blanket. I believe fuzzy blanket is into this bring back my bar, right? Um, and then Rio is um, something that I really, really want to try and don't want to miss out on, okay? And then I do have a couple of more bars. I am stocking up on my apricot vanilla, so I got three of those apricot vanilla to me apricot vanilla it's on this current catalog but apricot vanilla is a just it's a woman it's a feminine mature woman scent so it's just oh it's beautiful she's a beautiful feminine mature woman she knows what she wants and she smells amazing okay so that's what apricot vanilla is to me the other one is iridescent pearl I do like this one. So iridescent pearl is one of the new uh, new release scent for this catalog. Very clean, spa-like, refreshing, not overpowering whatsoever. Iridescent pearl reminds me a lot of uh, aloe water and cucumber. So this is aloe water and cucumber. Yep. And this is iridescent pearl. Yes, they're very similar. So if you like this, you're going to love this. The very light spa, um, spa feel scent. So got those. And then Camo Camo, I'm running low because I like to get these. And then Havana Cavana. I love, these are my top two tropical scents right now because I am without Kahiko Hula. <laughs> so they don't have Kahiko Hula anymore. Has, um, hibiscus water is another new scent. I like this one um, as well. I think hibiscus water, aloe, and cucumber, and um, iridescent pearl are all within the same category. Very light spa-like um, scent. So if you want something like if you're bringing it to the office, um, bathroom, I think those are really nice scents to where it doesn't overpower a small room. Okay, and then I have, so this one is the Vino Warmer. I have been wanting this for quite some time so our house is a mess right now I am like really turning my house upside down we ordered new cabinets we got white cabinets uh, we're looking at countertops not too crazy with the countertops my this is not our forever home and so our forever home will have my white quartz uh, my white cabinet and like my farmhouse sink so that's my forever home this one I want to kind of just beautify it so that when we're ready to sell then it's appealing um to the next buyer and so this one is going to go on top of my wine cabinet i'm thinking of using my wine cabinet um onto the area that separates my living room into my kitchen so i think this is really going to go really well around that area and this came out a few years ago actually like i said I've had so much warmers that I kind of been stopping myself, but this has been one of those warmers that I'm like, I've been eyeballing and like, should I get it? And finally, I just caved in. Black cord with a black toggle switch and 
It comes with a 40 watt light bulb, I believe. Yep, yeah, 40. All right, and then be careful with the, it's a pretty tall warmer from what I recall the description. Let me. Go ahead and take this because it's very, it's like in there. All right. I was so disappointed with my nail broke. Oh. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's just popping it. It's, it's so hard. <laughs> I'm trying to take it out, friends. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. Okay. Very hot and muggy today, so I had to get out of my um, shopping clothes and change into some comfy clothes. So, really like this one. It's brown at the bottom, like a brown um, brass, like is it brass material? And then it's hard at the bottom because sometimes some of the Scentsy warmers at the bottom is like black felt. But then if you press too hard, it will cave in. And then it has the Scentsy logo at the back. And then that's where you put in the light bulb. And then it comes with a glass shade. Be gentle. Ooh, frosted. Is it frosted? Frosted glass shade. Okay, see the frost? It goes on inside. It just sits in there. And then it has the topper. Oh, I almost... I dropped the I dropped the dish because they they stuffed the dish right inside okay so I'm gonna put the, the glass dish so it's one two three pieces so far and then the top all right so the the camera shut off I'm so sorry all right I was like looking at the camera like I don't think it's recording me anymore but I wanted to show um let you guys know that I had one more warmer. I went ahead and took it out of the box. This one. This is the, what was it? The Vino. Oops. Okay. I took it out of the box. This was the Vino warmer. I'm not sure where it cut me off. And no, I think the camera's cooking. Oh my gosh. Like I said, my house is like upside down right now. And when, when my workspace is upside down, I cannot work functionally. I cannot, I cannot think straight. I do apologize so I don't know where it left off but I'm just gonna show you guys the warmer itself all right so it's going to be one two three four pieces all right I had a little struggle of the lid but basically it has the glass dish and then this one says um, how many it says four four is the max uh, warmer um, four is the max uh, cube that you should put in here and also four is recommended of the full performance of the warmer and then it also has the shade that goes just on to the inside okay my, I think it's my nail like the breaking of my nail is just <laughs> oh, it just got me all kind of warped 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 I got my dish, I got the lid, and it's a very tall warmer. And then with this one, I think I had to like work the, the lid, the top of the warmer a little bit. So there we go. Okay. I cannot wait to display this. I actually really, really like this. I've been liking this for quite some time. Um, and I'm just surprised that I have not gotten it sooner because it has been into our catalog previous catalog for like I think I want to say two years now I really like it okay and I like the fact that it's a 40 watt uh, bulb so it's really gonna show off the light bulb onto that very tall um, I was measuring my hand to the warmer so it goes right here it's almost two hand length okay this is a six inch pot that I was comparing it and see pretty tall all right friends I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had um, aloe vera I had the vino is it the vino yep just the vino warmer I have bring back my bars my favorite bring back my bars is beach 
Happy birthday, banana bread. Those are my top three onto this Bring Back My Bar. And then I do like the Simply Rose, um, the Beach Daisy, and then the Pink um, Haze. Uh, those are my top scents. So don't forget to order your Bring Back My Bars or add it onto your um, Scentsy Club. If you put your uh, Bring Back My Bars onto the Scentsy Club, even though we're done with our Bring Back My Bar month, it will you will still able to uh, you will still be able to receive it each time you get your uh, Scentsy Club delivered. Okay? As always, friends, thank you for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo!